The iPhone 14 with a new dynamic island, my ownership experience, honestly, it's been like as if I was in Safari, because every day I'm literally exploring and buying out new things. So in today's video, after one month of owning this amazing device on the latest firmware update of iOS 16, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all the amazing tips and tricks and some useful features that I wish to share with everybody. So this is the complete guide of every useful thing you could do with your brand new iPhone. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the important bits about the dynamic island. Now, even though it does give you the notification that you set your device on silent or unsilent, Face ID gives you this cool, amazing animation, but there's three hidden ones that I usually like to use the most in terms of having access to a quick menu. If you're playing something, for example, if you long press on the notch, you can actually have quick access to music control right here. And when you answer a phone call, you can actually have quick access one more time to the phone call conversation. Right here, you have the capability to end that if you wish. But now if you think some of the audio waves that some of the other uh, shortcuts that it has are annoying, you can actually swipe to just room hide it not really remove because if you reverse it it will actually play the animation one more time so that's a clever way to hide these little distractions now when it comes to screen recording we know by fact you can set it up right here in the control center if you don't see the screen recording section don't worry all you got to do is just go into the settings go into control center and just make sure you add it. And if you like to rearrange it you can just move it up and down like so if you like to remove some just tap here and it's going to be added to the more control section you can just re-add it by tapping the green plus but a lot of people don't know this and this is extremely useful especially if you have to help out a friend or something like that if you actually long press on the screen recording button you can actually include your microphone so you can actually voice over and make like a video tutorial guide to your friend in case they're having some technical difficulties you like to help them out with so you can include your voice like so and now if we go back, you may have noticed there's some apps that support certain unique features. So here you can actually start a broadcast. So if you like to go live on one of these apps, you do have quick access to have the capability to do so simply by setting up that app in particular. So if Twitch or Instagram, if you like to start a broadcast, you can literally start it right here on your iPhone. Now, before we resume, I'd like to give a special shout out to Moth for sponsoring today's video and showing us their amazing modular snap stand power set as this is a magsafe compatible magsafe battery bank you could simply attach on the back portion of any magsafe supported iphone they also include their wallet magsafe attachment which actually acts as a kickstand the card portion can hold up to three cards comfortably now both of these are actually made out of genuine premium vegan leather this is the first magsafe battery bank that actually is fully wrapped with this material both the wallet and the magsafe battery bank are color matched and then the magsafe not only can charge your iphone but you can use the usb-c port on the side and charge another device at the same time now they do include this magnetic usb-c attachment if you let's say for example got home from a busy day you just want to go to bed dock your iphone well, with this cable, you can simply just attach the power cord to charge the MagSafe without any issues. So the next morning, everything is at 100%. Now the wallet portion can also be purchased separately as it's available in a variety of different color choices. And the magnets found inside the MagSafe wallet is super powerful that you can even mount your phone this way. So if you're interested in to find out where you can go ahead and get yours, I'll be sure to include links in the description down below. Now let's go ahead and resume our video. Now, if you're ever left with this task of scanning a lot of documents, instead of downloading third-party apps, the actual Note app actually has this capability and it's super easy to do. Just simply long press on the application on your device and just go ahead and select scan documents. Now, just line up papers and it just quickly scans it. And once you're done, tap save. Once you're done, you can literally just airdrop it to your device and then on your computer, we could export it as a PDF. I use this all the time if I ever have to scan anything. Saves me a lot of time and frustration compared to fiddling with a printer. Now the iPhone 14 Pros do have a always on display and the always on display is pretty advanced. Don't worry, when you put this in your pocket, it'll actually turn off. And as an added bonus, if you have an Apple Watch, doesn't have to be the Ultra, just a modern day Apple Watch on the latest firmware update. If you actually walk away from your iPhone, it will actually turn off the display, preserving the battery life as much as possible and will resume and go back on once you get close to your device. And for my ownership experience, always on display, doesn't really draw that much battery because at the end of the day, I'm still left with about five or 20% battery life remaining from getting up in the morning around eight and making it all the way to 
11 p.m. just fine like I did with my iPhone 13 Pro. But if that's still not enough, yeah, you can turn it off by going into your settings, go into display and brightness, and here, just look for always on and disable it. But something I do recommend is customizing your notifications because your always on display will always list the notifications. So if you like to customize it to your own personal preference, back in the settings, go to the notification tab, and where it says show preview, you have always, when on lock, and never. Always, basically, whatever notification you receive, on your always on display, it'll always show you the summary. When unlocked, not until you unlock the device, it will actually give you the brief summary. And never, well, it will just stay as the icon of the app and the name of the app. It won't break down the summary until you unlock your device and go into the notifications. And then if you like to customize your displays for your notifications, you could totally do so too. You can either do count, which will look like this, Stack will look like this, and list will be like your typical notification list view of all your notifications that's on your lock screen. Personal preference, once more. Now, if you're ever in a situation where your buddy wants to have access to the Wi Fi network as well, but you forgot the password and they don't have an iPhone where they could actually go on the Wi Fi section and you can airdrop the password to them, unfortunately, just in case your buddy is on Android, that poor soul, you can actually go into the Wi Fi section, select the Wi Fi name select the dots where the password is, it's going to use Face ID to unlock, and it'll actually show you the passcode right here. You can either text it to that person or just tell it and show it to them. Now, the next one is a cool trick, especially if you use a lot of social media apps like Instagram Reels, TikTok, if you're just viewing content in general, and you just want a clever way to go to the next video. If you go into your settings, go into accessibility, and go into voice commands, enable it, and where it says custom, Go ahead and click on create new command. Type in phrase next, so spell next and hit done. And then in the action section, click on action. And then where it says run custom gesture, do a swipe down to top like you would typically scroll through TikTok. Go in and tap save. And now go ahead and open that app and just say next. And boom, now when you're at the pooper, you can just say next. Now you know the animation whenever you launch the app, it's just generic animation. If you want to separate your device from everybody else, you definitely have to pay attention to this one. If you go into your settings, go back into accessibility, go ahead and go into motion and enable re reduce motion. Now, if you ever navigate through your iPhone, it makes like a smooth transition. This is a personal preference type of thing, but it'll definitely make your iPhone feel new. Now, part of iOS 16 was the brand new customization for the wallpapers. We have a lot of useful tools here. And you also have the capability to now have a library of selection of different wallpapers to choose from. And you can actually link each wallpaper to be attached to a certain focus mode. So for example, if we link this one to work, now whenever you enable work mode, it's gonna automatically switch to this watch, uh, not watch face, wallpaper, I'm sorry. And if you take it off, or if you select a different one that you previously linked with, it'll switch. So you'll have a professional wallpaper while you're at work and you can change wallpapers once you're home. You have that capability. In addition to that, of course, you can slide up to delete. But one of the most overlooked wallpapers are the featured ones, the one a party collection of iOS 16. So that's this one. So the pride one has its own unique animation where you unlock, it does like a cool zipper effect, the clownfish, if you're using an always on display on your iPhone 14 Pro, uh, on always on, it'll look like this. And when you wake up the display, it looks like this. That's a cool like transition. Another one that has a similar transition is astronomy. The weather has this cool weather app animation, which matches the weather where your device is located. But now a privacy one that allows you to actually see where the apps are tracking you, or you can use this to find, see where a certain person has been. If you actually go into your settings, go into privacy, go into location services, and now you just scroll all the way to the very bottom, and you're gonna go ahead and click on system services. And from there, scroll down to significant locations. And once you do that, this will actually show you the list of all the locations that your iPhone has been marketing and sending that information to those apps that you allow permission to track your location. It's a great way to monitor what your device has been up to. So use this responsibly.
Now as for the camera portion side of things, uh, the iPhone 14 honestly is jam packed with a lot of features. This deserves to be a separate video, so stay tuned for that video. But one that I have to show you guys is this. So if you take a picture of a subject and you go into the app store real quick, you have to make sure you have this downloaded. Search up object removal. Make sure to download this app. Now, when you open the app, you don't have to actually buy the premium. You could literally just exit out of that because on the very top, there's a little X icon. And then just tap allow. And now select on the photo we just took a picture of and then tap edit. And right here on the very top of the dots, tap on removal, click okay. And then select the subject you wanna remove. You have the removal object tools right here you can select from. And then just simply just go over it with your finger and it uses software and it removes it. Really cool. And then as for an added bonus for fun, if you're looking for a fun gaming app that utilizes a dynamic island, go on the app store, download, hit the island, and that's basically this free to play game. That looks really nice and it's pretty fun because if you show this to your friends, they're gonna be like, what the heck are you playing that on? Because it's hard to believe that this is an iPhone. This is a really great job hiding, hiding the sensors inside the dynamic island, which makes everything pleasing. Now, if you're curious how I was able to get the battery life percentage on my iPhone to show like this, I highly recommend watching this video. That is the first original tips and trick video I made for the iPhone 14. Watch that video as I cover basically more cool stuff you could adjust in the settings. And there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Links to everything will of course be linked in the description down below, including today's sponsor video and those reference apps I recommend checking out. Now, if you're also enjoying your iPhone, Make sure to leave that like button a like so I have an understanding how many of you guys are actually enjoying your iPhone. If you're not, do the other button. I'm curious to know what does everybody else have to say about their brand new device. And if we missed some tips or you want to share some tips of your own, feel free to comment down below as well. If you wish to watch more, make sure you are subscribed as I do plan on reviewing that overly priced Meta Pro headset in the near future. So if you're curious to know how my ownership experience is gonna be like, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those upcoming videos. Aside from that, if you wish to watch more, check out this video over here as I compare the PSVR against the Quest 2. And then that video over there, that's just the video YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.